well that bit just unclips and use a screwdriver See the motor. It's coming along that way, so I expect there's gearbox under there. In fact, oh, we'll see if it works first, and then we'll finish taking it apart. Okay. Not a lot happening there. So we're going to have to take it apart anyway, aren't we? It's got little pillars there that it seems to have melted over to stop you taking it apart, no doubt. Yeah. Right, so, what have we got inside? Well, that's interesting. I didn't expect that. We've got this nice little electric motor that turns a worm gear that turns an ordinary gear there, but then we got rubber bands and pulleys for the front and the back there. So, why weren't we working? Seems to be okay now. Just seems to have trouble, not enough power to actually turn the wheels. Take it apart a little bit more. I guess there must be something gumming up the axles, stopping them turning, because the motor seems fine. I've never seen a little one like that before, but it's working. Well, the on off switch, that sliding switch there, pushes this bit of metal up because we've got one leg of the battery is permanently connected to the motor and then the other bit must be just making contact with the frame because it's all black it's a bit difficult to see what's going on in there
Maybe the grease in it's just gummed up a bit where it hasn't been used for so long. So that seems to be freeing up a bit now as so I keep using it. Speeding up. Seems happy now. All I can imagine was it got grease on it that was stopping it making contact because I've done nothing to it other than just move things around a little bit. before. But there we go, Kenner 1993, made in China. I assume it's some sort of track or kit that it all fits with, so that these dig into some sort of track. Something goes in there, no doubt something goes in there. Still, now it works. Didn't do anything special. Just sort of played with it a bit and I think that cleaned the muck off the contact. 